All right. Say build stuff. Pretty much all of the main assembly is completed. And now it's just a matter of a bunch of little miscellaneous things that are a lot of it, maybe not that interesting to show. But just to give an overview, got the tool head uh, completed and installed and the wiring for everything except for the Y, or so that would be the X end stop switch. All that wiring is completed. I'll have to solder some wires for that. I just got my switches uh, in today. Tool head still needs to have heat set inserts installed. I'll have to do that probably tomorrow. Some sirens. The Z stop switch is installed. Another thing that I missed a detail, uh, this little sort of retaining extra nut and spring assembly on the Z lead screw. I missed that in the uh, initial assembly. Not quite exactly sure what that's for. I think it's a anti-backlash feature. So that's probably important to have. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. The Y end stop switch. My switches do not have the little levers on them. And the instructions say to leave the lever on this one because that's what, what the gantry strikes to, uh, to initiate the switch. So I'm gonna have to design and print a little 3D printed part that'll mount on the back of the gantry here to push that switch. Should be a really simple little part. I can just put a screw and a nut to hold it in place there. That should be good. And here is the little Y end stop pusher part that I designed, shown here in blue. Just like I said, attaches with a single M3 screw and the nut slid in the back of the linear rail. And you can see it just has this little finger here that comes down to push the switch button. So there it is, just a really simple, quick and easy part to print. Print it just like that, and there you go. It's I also ended up needing another custom button pusher for the XN stop. This was a remix design from the stock, which was just a hexagon. So what you can see is I basically took a hexagon and I made each point uh, a little bit uh, a little bit longer than the than the next one. So this allows you to rotate this part and adjust the X uh, travel based on you know what your needs are. You can just twist this around a little bit to get a longer edge to push the X end stop switch. Belts and everything of course are installed and I just left them uh, just kind of snug for now and I'll go back and torque them down a little bit later once I get everything fully assembled, you know, I'll make sure all the, all the screws are, are, are snug and then I'll tighten the, the belts down before uh, powering it up for the first time. I still need to assemble the extruder. I printed the parts and I'm just waiting for, well, I just need to do uh, heat set inserts. So I'll do those at the same time that I do the hot end heat set inserts. Need to remember to bring my soldering iron home. The electronics starting to go into place. These are the uh, uh, heater wire, uh, bed heater wires and ther bed thermistor wires. So those need to be lengthened and uh, put uh, 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 connectors on the end. Got the motherboard installed and the relay is sitting here crooked. Sorry, this is the uh, butt converter to power the Raspberry Pi. I may end up just running a USB cable out and powering the, U the Raspberry Pi separately. With my other printers, I, I do find it, my other printer, I, I do find it sometimes nice to be able to power cycle the Raspberry Pi and the printer independently. Steppers, of course, A and B steppers and the Z stepper are installed. They need wiring, at least uh, connectors. Actually, these wires are gonna be not long enough, so I'm gonna have to make some new or solder extensions for those. Looking at the tool head, you know, obviously it's everything is nicely designed, but I kind of feel like I'd like to redesign some of these parts to fully hide the wires. You know, this fan shroud could cover this up and then, you know, that would look a little bit neater, not super necessary. Maybe someday I'll do that. 
I also would like to print some red parts, kind of do a red, black, and white kind of scheme. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll get the printer up and running and then I'll use the printer to print more parts for the printer. <laughs> Anyways, we're working on the side panels. Got this side panel on, looks cool. Little clips work nice. And so now I'm working on the, the other side panel, which has the door hinge. And I'll get the door with the magnets installed and that'll be, uh, that'll be good progress, I think. So the top half of the hinge part has clearance for the screw, and the bottom half is a tight fit, so it basically threads down in there nicely. Well designed parts. The instructions say to thread these in here and then cut these uh, button heads off. Oh, I get it, I get why. Because if you cut the button heads off, then you can take the door panel, you can just slide the door panel off without using screws. I think maybe what I'll do, I'll try this. Try screwing it in from the bottom. Then I think I'll be able to lift the door panel off. These are shipped in such good protective bubble wrap. I worried about these magnets getting destroyed. Ah, here we go. Here's how I cannot screw this up is I'll put the magnets in first. Then I'll take the handle and I'll just press them in like that. What a bang. I need some adhesive. Thank you. 